The high street has always been my favourite place to buy video games. Whether that be new games or pre-owned games, it didn't make a difference. As a kid, I was always in town looking through the various video game stores for the games that I'd either never heard of or that I'd been looking at for quite a while. And in my town, we had around three to five video game stores at any one time. Nowadays, unfortunately, we have CEX and a pawn shop which have a very small video game section. I always remember a store called Soft Center. I don't think it was a chain. I think it was an independent store, correct me if I'm wrong, but they had literally floor to ceiling video games on three of the four walls and the other fourth wall was a display window which was just, just crammed full of video game goodness. It was one of the best stores I've ever been in. Let me know, as a kid, where was your go-to place for video games? It may have been an independent store that no longer exists, or it may have been the likes of GameStation Electronics Boutique, for example. Let me know in the comments. We've also had the likes of Electronics Boutique, GameStation was a thing at one point, Game, of course, the highlight of this video, and now CEX, as well as a few other independent or bigger chain like pawn shops knocking around the place, cash generator, regenerate, those kind of places. CEX is a very good store. It is obviously my favorite place to go to pick up video games, even though I do bash them quite a lot. The reason CEX are so successful is because they focus solely on pre-owned products. Therefore, they take 100% of the profit and they put it back into the company. They pay their employees, they then are able to buy more product, open more stores and have become the biggest gaming chain in the UK. When it comes to game, however, they do things differently. They focus a lot on new product, which means they have to take their profit of percentage and then pay the rest to the game developers and the publishers and all the rest of it. The money goes down the chain. When I worked for GameStation, I was always told to push pre-owned. Hey, if they want a console, see if you can shift a pre-owned console onto them because we get 100% of the profit. So the reason game has failed, in my opinion, is because they just focus far too much on new. But not only that, the pre-owned that they have doesn't go back far enough. If lockdown taught us anything, it was that people actually love retro gaming and now it's bigger than ever. Game can take full advantage of this if they just break out of that new that they are focused on and move more towards pre-owned. That's not to say that I want them to get rid of new altogether because in my opinion there needs to be a place on the high street I can walk in and buy a brand new video game. However, I think they should solely focus on new releases and then once that is sort of past its time, maybe have a little bit of a display for some of the uh, the older, newer games, if that makes sense, but mainly focus on the likes of the pre-owned PS4 and Xbox One. The Nintendo Switch needs a pre-owned section, in my opinion, because that is where money is. And then, of course, they can go back even further because game got rid of Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo Wii and Wii U very early on. But I feel like if there was another place to go to other than CEX to trade in games, to buy pre-owned, and of course, take advantage of games three for two, which is amazing. I'm an advocate of it and I always say it in videos. I didn't take advantage of game when it was in my town and then they closed it down. I do have a Sports Direct, which of course they've all been pigeonholed into, but unfortunately my Sports Direct isn't anywhere near big enough to accommodate a game, so we just don't have one anymore. That might be about to change though, because I've seen something on Twitter and I've had a little look and it is true. Game is returning to the high street. I believe this is Chester and of course you would have seen it in the thumbnail as well, but it does say we're back coming spring 2023. Game are opening a fully fledged independent store from the likes of Sports Direct and House of Frasier, which is fantastic. I just hope that they go in that pre-owned direction and they introduce more retro stuff rather than selling all this new stuff, which people don't really want anywhere near as much. The beauty of selling pre-owned is of course they make more money from it. It gives people a bigger choice and the games therefore would be much cheaper. At the moment, CEX kind of have the monopoly on the retro market. If I want a Mega Drive game, but I don't want to buy it on eBay and I want to see it before I purchase it, I have to go to the likes of CEX or I have to find an independent video game store. Now, I love independent video game stores because generally they tend to want to cut you a deal. You want to spend your money there more than you do in a chain because you're helping out the, the little guy, if you will. And a lot of them are just themed very, very well. And they, they're not sort of corporate buildings like CEX where it's just literally walls of just the same game or just stacks of cases. 
these vid video game stores have character to them. Unfortunately, where I live, there isn't one. There isn't one for miles and miles and miles, unfortunately. So I can't really go and visit them as often as I'd like. Therefore, I kind of need game to come back. And with them now potentially opening another store on the high street, is it a matter of time before we see more of these stores open up and will they go in another direction? Only time will tell. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should game make a comeback? Should they focus on pre-owned and should they stock a lot more retro than they have done in the past? If you want to see another video from me, you can click here. And until the next time, goodbye.